go to Debbie in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, listening at EWTN.com. Uh, Debbie, you have to phrase your question pretty quickly so Carlo can give you a thorough answer, but th thank you for calling. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, you know, we believe so firmly in the consecration or the transubstantiation, and but um, there are other things that we, we don't um, take quite as literally, such as my mother-in-law says for, for um, her religion, you have to be completely immersed to be baptized okay. as Jesus was. And so I'm just wondering if you could give me a little clarity or, you know, I, I firmly believe in the, um, the, the transubstantiation, but, um, sure. you know, to, to be able to use that for, to, to explain to others. Okay. okay. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, no, it's a great question. Well, first of all, Debbie, I would encourage you to ask, I can't remember, was it your mother-in-law you said or your friend? Uh, it, it, it was That particular one was my mother-in-law. I was just trying to, oh, yeah. I mean, there okay. are other things, but that sure. was just the one I could think of at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so if, if, if the issue is like, for example, immersion, full immersion, well, basically, you can ask your mother-in-law, you know, where in the Bible does it explicitly say that in order to be validly, validly baptized, you must be fully immersed. And, Debbie, there's no answer to that question, because the Bible nowhere explicitly states that full immersion is necessary for a valid baptism. Does the Bible say that they went down into the water? Yes, it does. But that doesn't mean, like, for example, in the case of Jesus and John the Baptist, Jesus came up from the water. That doesn't mean he was fully immersed. That's an, that's an interpretation or an imposition of one's view on the text. The text does not say he was fully immersed. Coming up from the water could possibly just mean they were in the water, John's pouring the water over Jesus, and they walk out of the Jordan River. Other places, for example, in Acts 8 with the eunuch who was ministered to by the Ethiopian, um, uh, excuse me, where the deacon Philip ministered to the Ethiopian eunuch and they went down into the water for baptism, but that does not necessarily mean they were fully immersed. So we have to challenge our Protestant brothers and sisters when they think the Bible teaches something explicit, it doesn't. And so for that reason, we would say full immersion is not necessary for a valid baptism, although the church does encourage full immersion because it does give a fuller symbolic value of the death and the resurrection of Jesus that we participate in in the sacrament of baptism. So I'm out of time, out of time and I'm sorry I couldn't go any more on that question. Always watching that clock. Debbie, thank you so much.